Now imagine going down that at what speed, Pat? About 130. Oh kilometers. my goodness. Well, thankfully you are going to be coach and pilot for me. Now, um, you actually were represented in the movie Cool Runnings. Yes. John Candy played you. You're the coach yes. for the Jamaican bobsleigh team. Yes, in 88. What was that like to see yourself represented in a movie? <laughs> it, was, it was different. Different yeah? experience, sure. Oh, man. Well, I'm happy to have you as my pilot. Let's talk about this experience that people can have here at the Whistler Sliding Center, whether it's bobsleigh or skeleton. Right. Now, the public can come out and uh, we put you through an orientation. Then you're taken up to the bob start area, loaded into your sled. The pilot gets in and safely drives you down to the bottom of the course. Okay, so it's going to take about how long to get down the course? Uh, about 40, 43 seconds. And I don't need to have any experience for this because the first thing I think is, man, am I going to be safe, you know, doing this? How dangerous is it? But there's extensive training that happens before I go down, right? Yeah, there's about a 45 minute orientation. And then, you know, this is the opportunity for the regular public to be an Olympian for 40 45 seconds. And to be super excited because we've seen this happen and for anyone that's coming to the World Cup next weekend it's their chance to sort of see it and then also have a chance to experience it themselves, right? Yes, we'll be running the program until uh, March 27th so we'd love everybody to come out and experience the ride. Now here's the thing, you have an eye for talent, you know, you've been a coach, you've started some people out in this kind of thing, do you think that you might spot a little talent here? We might, we might see some Maybe talent, it them. depends on how much screaming you do on the way down. <laughs> Very good, well we'll definitely check that out if you want to check out the World Cup or or head out to the Whistler Siding Center for either the skeleton or the bobsleigh experience. You can go to their website for more details. And back at the station, I'm making my way down that. Coming up soon. What would it be like to experience the bobsleigh? Well, she is doing just that, finding the ins and outs, of course, safety first, and then she's gonna go on the ride of a lifetime. You'll have the chance to do it yourself. She'll explain how you can do that and... Okay, Pat, we're getting ready to go down. How's this gonna be for me? Do you have faith in my abilities to be your co-pilot? Absolutely, I think you'll do wonderful. Excellent, so we're gonna be making our way down right about now. Let me pass this off. All right. Pat, are you ready? Ready. Is everybody ready? Yay! Yeah! It was a very good run, 43-20. So we've been a pretty good time. Yeah, yeah, you're ready. I'm ready. Can I make the next team, do you think? I hope so. <laughs> I hope so, too. Hey, you know what? This is not just for us here. You can experience at home. Go to the Whistler Sliding Center website. You can check out the bobsleigh experience or the skeleton experience. And if you want to watch the pros do it, you can catch it at the World Cup February 2nd to 4th. Thanks, Pat. You're welcome. Well, this is a vehicle that my next guest has grown accustomed to. We are here at the legendary Canadian Olympic medalist, Pierre Luders. Thanks for joining us here at the Whistler Sliding Center. Well, thanks for having me. So this is the professional bit. We're getting a little bobsleigh 101 because we're going to tell people how they can experience this bobsleigh in a moment. But tell us about what we're seeing here. Well, actually, this, uh, this sled right here belongs to Helen Upperton, our uh, Olympic silver medalist from uh, Vancouver. And it's a two women sled, so I have to be careful. I can't say men, but uh, <laughs> it is her sled, and it's a highly tuned machine that's uh, that's built for speed. Okay, so tell us what we're seeing here. Where are the controls? What, what, how does it all work? Well, uh, Helen will sit right here, and our brakeman will sit back here. These are the brakes. They'll put those on when they cross the finish line. If uh, if we want to have the sled go to the right, we'll pull this little handle a very small amount to the right. If we want to go to the left. We'll give this a little squeeze and we'll go to the left. So it's super sensitive. Very sensitive. Uh, we use a rope and pulley system that's been around for 100 years, no steering wheels. Okay, let's make our way. This is the professional one. Let's make our way to the one that people can experience if they experience the bobsleigh experience here at the Western Sliding Center. I'll make my way over here. How, how, I guess, how can you compare what the public is going to experience to what you as a professional has experienced? It's, uh, it's exactly the same. The, the feeling that you'll have of speed, the G-force that you'll feel on your body, uh, the excitement, 
excitement, the adrenaline. Uh, it's it's as close to what uh, what our athletes will experience coming down the hill. There's really no other sport where you can actually go on the Olympic track and slide with one of our Olympians or or a qualified pilot that can drive you down the Olympic track. It's uh, it's. I highly recommend it. It's uh, it's a thrill of a lifetime. Now you're a pilot. I don't want to be a backseat driver, but I can't sit in a pilot seat, right? No, we're only looking for qualified <laughs> pilots. But uh, you know, we can take three people down in one of these tourist sleds here in Whistler. Uh, the number two seat is obviously the champagne seat, but uh, all of the positions are uh, are very comfortable and very exciting. Very cool. If you want to experience the bobsleigh or the skeleton, you can do it here at the Whistler Sliding Center until March 27th. For more details, you can go to their website.